Hey everybody and welcome to another webisode from B-Dub's Blogosphere. I'm Bill Witt, continuing with my reviews of the products that I use in my home studio. Hopefully you'll find this helpful as you choose which products to use in your own home studio as well. Today behind me you can see two Adobe products. On this monitor, which is my work PC, we have Adobe Audition from the CS2 suite. And over here on my home laptop, we have the Upgrade, <laughs> which now ships with CS4 suites, and that is Sound Booth. And so today we're going to be looking at both of these Adobe products. And uh, I'll just tell you right off the bat that if you're looking at one of these, um, Audition is definitely the way to go. It's still available for purchase separately. Audition version 3, about $350, I think. Uh, Adobe no longer bundles it with their suites, which is a shame because this sound booth upgrade uh, is just an anemic, useless, newbie piece of crap. Okay, well, anyway, let's take a look. And we'll start here on my work computer, which is still running Audition 2, thankfully, because it's a really awesome suite of software. First thing we're going to do with this sound file is just normalize it, bring it up to its full potential, easily done in almost any audio software. But the next thing I'm going to do is something not seen in every software, and that's a multiband compressor. Audition has a really good one. And that's what it sounds like. Let me play that for you before. I don't know if you can hear the difference over YouTube, but that makes a huge difference here in person. It makes that track really come alive. And this is no, you know, simple multi-band compressor. This is a full-featured system right here. Each band has its own threshold gain, ratio, attack, and release. The bands are completely customizable as to what frequency they control. It's got a lot of great presets built in, and of course, a limiter as part of that too. So that's going to be a great first step to getting tracks mastered and sounding as good as they possibly can. It's got a hard limiter built in that uh, has all the features you'd expect to see on a professional limiter. And uh, as I showed in a previous video too, it's got a great stereo expander. All these are very uh, professional features that I have enjoyed and gotten a lot of good use out of. If you were gonna buy a multiband compressor uh, and a limiter and a stereo expander, like this in something like uh, Isotope Ozone or a, um, a TC product or a Sony product, you're going to be paying big bucks. But I was pleasantly surprised to see it's actually bundled with a CS2 suite of products from Adobe. And not only that, but if you scroll down the list of effects, you're going to see it has some great uh, reverbs built in. If we solo out that vocal track and apply a reverb to it, you can hear... Oh my It's got some really great, some really great reverbs, fully customizable again. Uh, phasers, flangers, echoes, delays. Um, just, I, I don't have time to go through all of these, but it's just amazing all that comes bundled with Audition. Here's you a click or a pop eliminator. And here's one of my favorites, the clip restoration. So if you've accidentally recorded something too hot, like this right here, and you've got peaking audio, Let's just play that. Hear that distortion? Uh, you go into clip restoration, gather statistics, and we want to run maybe the lightly clipped preset there. And you're gonna see it brings it back down. And it, it doesn't sound as much clipped. I've run that on several audio files and they sound actually pretty good. It, it takes those waveforms that have been chopped off and kind of rounds them out and brings them back down. Very awesome to have that bundled. Um, and of course it has this noise reduction thing. So if you've got a hiss, a hum in the background, an air conditioner, you can select a portion that just includes that background and then filter that background out of the rest of the file. So there's hardly anything missing from this awesome program. One last thing to show you before we look at its counterpart, Sound Booth, and that is Audition's Pitch Corrector. If you go to the Time Slash Pitch category, there it is, there's Pitch Correction right there. Now this person you're listening to is a violinist, so she's got very, very good pitch. This is probably not going to affect her very much. But just like any other pitch corrector by Ant Aries or, or Melodyne or whoever, you get the automatic or manual options and in automatic we're going to choose the key of A, which is what they're singing in. All my fears and failures. And you can see it 
pulling her down when she's sharp and pushing her up when she's flat and it just keeps her right on pitch. It's fully adjustable with the attack time, the sensitivity, um, and of course you can even do manually as well. So there's a map of what note she's singing. And for instance, that note right there that starts and dips and comes back up, or that one that goes up, and you can actually go down here and manipulate that to bring it right onto the note if you want to take the time to do that. So that's very awesome that Audition can do all of that within one program. Very good bundled plugins. Okay, by contrast, let's look at Soundbooth, which I've got running on my Mac here. This again is bundled with CS Force. So they no longer bundle what you just saw. This is what they now bundle with their suite of software. Again, a very similar looking waveform, but if we want to master that, if you go to the effects, you're going to see um, that there's no multiband compressor to choose. There is, however, this mastering option, which adds it to your list there. We can click into settings and you get one slider for the amount of mastering. <laughs> wow, that sounds great, huh? <laughs> so let's get rid of that. Let's try something different. Under effects, let's go to advanced and then mastering. Okay, maybe that'll be better. Maybe that'll have a multiband compressor in it. Nope, don't think so. Here you get reverb, exciter, widener, loudness maximizer, and output gain. Uh, joined together in one plug-in. That's okay, I guess. Gives you a visual representation there. Simple EQ right here. So for me, that doesn't sound a thing like the mastering did with the better Audition. Sound booth, almost useless <laughs> if you ask me. Let's delete that effect, see what else we've got to choose from. For, ins for instance, with the compressor. Let's look at its settings. Oh, there's your setting, amount, zero to 100, great. Where's your threshold? You know, where's your ratio? Where's your attack? Where's your release? Where's your gain? Now there is that under advanced, but again, you're not gonna get as many settings as we're used to seeing. So sound booth, wow. I mean, there's hardly anything there worth looking at. So that's my review of these two products. Audition, something I use every day and I'm very happy with, just thrilled with. Sound booth, worthless, worthless to me. I'm so glad we chose not to upgrade to CS4 here where I work, so I still have access to Audition and, and I use it every day. I upgraded at home, so now I no longer have Audition on this laptop. Instead, I have Sound booth. In Adobe, I gotta tell you, this is the most useless piece of software that has come onto my desk in a long time. So again, buyer beware. If you're looking at Adobe, this is not much to look at. Hopefully, hopefully this helps you and I'm interested in hearing what you use in your home studio. So leave a comment and as always, I welcome your questions and other comments. Have a good one.